Hello Year 9, my name is Mr Holton and I'm the subject leader of photography here at Hodge Hill College. Today I'm going to be going over a short presentation with you on what you can expect if you choose photography at Key Stage 4. So to give you a brief overview of how the course will run, photography is split into two components, coursework and exam. Both components are assessed on the assessment objectives AO1, 2, 3 and 4 and these are worth 25% each towards your final grade. You will need to complete two final outcomes which conclude your project at the end of your components. Both of these outcomes will be 10 hour exams, practical exams, and they will run over two school days. Covid permitted, school trips will take place. You are given the opportunity to go on a trip in year 10 to an urban environment, for example a local town or city. Again, COVID permitted, in year 11, you're also given the opportunity to go on a rural trip, somewhere which has much more green spaces. Both of these trips are an excellent way for you to develop your photography skills using ambient lighting, and also allowing you to refine your ability to compose photographs. I'm very proud to tell you that Hodge Hill College is in the top 1% of the country for results achieved in photography and this is testament to the exciting and innovative projects that you are able to do here with us. So now on to what you will learn. You will learn how to use a DSLR camera, those are the ones that professionals use, to capture and create stunning images that you will then be able to use to work on to develop your project. You will also learn how to use the studio lighting, Photography means drawing with light and the studio is the best way to control every element of this. At Hodge Hill College we have access to three studios, professionally kitted out with a range of lighting adapters and modifiers. These will allow you to create some visually stunning images that you can develop further in your portfolio. So not only will you learn how to use a DSLR camera and the studio lighting, but the team at Hodge Hill will teach you how to navigate through the complexities of Photoshop, which, might I add, is the software that professionals use to create the majority of images you see on a daily basis. You'll learn how to use a range of tools to allow you to develop, refine or manipulate your photographs. Not only this, but we'll, we will also teach you a range of manual techniques which allow you to manipulate or construct work to develop within your project. You will have to complete research on artists, photographers or creators as it's important to develop literacy alongside your creative skills and this also is encompassed in your assessment objectives. Over the next two slides you will see some examples of final outcomes from previous Year 11 students. You may also remember having seen some examples of final outcomes around the school in the corridors or in the photography rooms 101, 102 or 107. I'm going to leave these on for you to have a little look at. If you have any questions, please send me a message on class charts and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. Thank you for listening, Year 9, and I hope to see you next year.